Hello, Jesse Good here, and if you remember last month, I opened up Bricks and It's Level 1, and I said it was the best LEGO subscription box out there, but does this still hold up? Well, we're going to find out in this video. I want to be transparent with you guys. After I did that Bricks and It video, they reached out to me, and first off, they began giving a hefty amount to my Patreon, which I really appreciate. They also gave me this box for free, and now they're giving me some coupons to give to you guys. So, again, this will not affect my analysis of the box. This is not going to persuade me. If you guys don't believe me, check out my 1UP box unboxing where they sponsored me and I called it for the crap it is. If this box is not up to snuff with last month's, I will tell you. So the promotions they gave me to give to you guys is that anybody who orders within the next 24 hours gets a free gift of $10 value. So that's pretty cool. And then for United States orders, if you type in just too good for USA as a coupon code, you get free shipping on all orders this month. And if you choose to elongate your subscription into May, you might be able to get this for May. It's first come first serve. I negotiated with them. I was like, okay, maybe we could carry this on to two months. And they're like, okay, we'll have some limited spots for that. Then for Canada, they have just too good for can 10% off all orders in Canada. And it's the same deal where it's in April. And if you choose to extend your subscription, this carries on to your May order. If you're one of the first, because it is first come first serve. And the last day for the April box is April 20th. And keep in mind, all those promotions are for all levels. So even if you want to get the $120 box, if you live in Canada, you can get 10% off that order, which is pretty neat. All right. Da -da -da. And you can see that there is a challenge pack. I believe I saw a Pro Lego channel building this one, if I'm not mistaken. And we have some bricks right here. All of this was of $25 value. So this is if you get the level one box. Some more basic elements. I can see some nice colors in there. Um, one thing that I noticed off the bat though with these, it doesn't seem like there's as much cool little accessories as last month. I see some some little ones like this uh, the teeth piece right there. Also getting that jumper in that color, I think is a little bit unique. Maybe I'm not taking a hard look at it, but we'll, we'll pour them out in a little bit. This is interesting. Just a whole bunch of these green little uh, pieces the modified one by one bricks with the knob at the side and then the minifigures so let's see what we got we got the pirate guy from series 17 or sorry series 16 i don't think i have much of this guy so that's pretty cool vacation batman from batman series one i believe yeah again uh i think i have actually i think i have like four of this guy some accessories so there you go there's some of the accessories and that's pretty neat this is like my favorite parts of the box when they give little minifigure accessories and i like getting that helmet and it looks like an old gray so that's pretty cool and then there's this box right here let's see what's inside uh oh it's uh boromir right that's pretty cool i like that that's probably my favorite minifigure in this box because he's not really common at all and you can see he does have that cape on there that's that's awesome that's probably the rarest minifigure in the box um nice to get he came in like a few sets I, I have one of him i think he was in the the mines and helms deep all right but either way we also have the building techniques booklet which i think this is like the coolest thing and again what i love about this box is not only do they just cut the crap and give you the, the stuff we want minifigures pieces not stupid stickers not stupid shirts and everything like that but they also give you this which is so useful again for somebody who really wants to build this really helps me out so look the month piece pack is brought to you by the headlight bricks that's what they call it, the headlight brick i always call it the one by one modified with a knob or one by one modified with said i'm gonna call it the headlight brick from now on if i remember then you see the next review i'm just like oh the one by one <laughs> But uh, this is actually, oh, look at that, a little bit of history. Um, the washing machine, but most call it the headlight. But you see, this This helps me a lot. I'm trying to become a mocker. I'm trying, I'm trying to, to, to uh, you know, uh, mock more. And you can see they talk about the techniques. Ooh, what is this? Justin, this card isn't big enough to write all the things we want to say. You rock. We love you. Aw, keep being awesome. Enjoy the box and the tiny one and honored and humble. Team Bricks in it. Thank you so much. So that was a special for me, I guess. Uh, the Boromir. That, that is so nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this, and it's a little thank you from, from uh, the Bricks in it team. This is really cute. I like it. Anyways, 
You see, have like cube patterns. Isn't that illegal? Um, no, the Lego police are not going to take away your bricks if you choose to build this way. So these are just some illegal build techniques. I know that's a meme. What was it? It was like Brickview, I think it was. I, I like their channel and their channel, like illegal build Lego techniques. And then it became a meme. <laughs> like I would see it outside of the Lego community. So I thought that was so funny. Um, you know what I want to check out though is that volcano. Again, another lovely thing is that all these pieces are 100% Lego, no clone brands or crap like that. And what they do is they have building challenges. So you build to win and use as many elements from this challenge and pack in your headlight piece, uh, or sorry, headlight brick piece pack. So you use all those and you build the best volcano and you will win something. Um, prizes to be announced, what we're prohibited, and you can email them. Or if you want to tag your creation, just do hashtag bricksmith. It's such a lovely idea because not only does it get us to build something creative, which I'm probably not going to participate in the challenge, unfortunately, but it also is a way to for them to get more subscribers because so people are like, oh, what is this bricks in it thing? So it's a nice co-promotion. Um, I like advertising like that. It's, it's less deceptive and more of just something that uses our creativity. One last thing I want to do is pour out all the pieces and see what we got. So look at this. People are going to be like, okay, just too good. Now, since you're getting paid by them, you're not being honest or whatever, but can you really complain for this, all this for 25 bucks? Again, I'm using that uh, base United States price because you get free shipping if you use my coupon code. This is fantastic. And there are some good pieces in here. Love getting the friends pieces. Uh, you know, these friends colors like this is a great piece to get. There's some of those Prince of Persia colorings right there. I saw like a yellow axle. That's pretty cool. Um, now I do have some constructive criticism, a little minor complaints. I wish they had more specialized pieces like this. Um, I remember last month, I mean, if I'm not being deceived by my memory, I, I think there was more specialized pieces. Like I saw a tooth piece in here, which was kind of cool. Um, it is cool that they had like a high volume of these headlight bricks they were calling them. Um, should be around here. And stuff like that are very useful when they're little specialized pieces. And my only other complaint would be that this month they didn't include a set. Like last month they had that Jack Sparrow brick head, which was cool because it had some specialized pieces in itself. So I hope they would do that in the following months, but minor complaints. I still love this box and I think it's a fantastic deal for the price that you paid 25 bucks. And of course you do get these minifigures, which I like that I got this guy because he wasn't really one of my favorites from series 16, but like, that's a good thing because I don't have a multiple of him. So I have most minifigures. So I like getting multiples of them so I can use them for different pieces. And if they were become rare, I'll feel special. <laughs> we have Vacation Batman. I, I, I love this figure, but I have so many of him. So this was probably the least exciting for me. And then getting Boromir, which I researched actually in between takes. I thought he came in Helm's Deep. He does not come in Helm's Deep. I, I have Mines of Morris. This is my second Boromir, but I always like this minifigure. I love the Lord of the Rings minifigures in general. I wish I would have... Uh, got every set from that theme because I was just a little bit off like ugh, I still want Helm's Deep So it's nice to get him and this was such a cool special gift again You you won't you probably won't be getting a board mirror. That was just kind of a special gift for me But if you do subscribe to them in the next uh, 24 hours, you do get a $10 gift um, I wonder what that is So anyways again, this is just leagues better. Yes, this is still the best Lego subscription box Even if you say okay, you're doing it because you're being paid by them. Come on, really? This has over, like, 200 pieces, over 250, I think. And then the value is just there with the minifigures they include. And my favorite thing is when you learn something from each. And this has history in it and building techniques. And they have this cool challenge that motivates your creativity. So whether I'm being supported by them or not, I will always say that this is the best subscription box if they keep up this level of quality. There are th ways they could improve, but even that are a small little minor complaint. So that's it for Bricks and Eight. Go check them out. All linked in the subscription. I want them to succeed because they're doing the best out there. And it doesn't feel like they're doing this just for the money alone. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.